Hello and welcome to Hansgrohe Technical Talk. My name is Keith Dyson. I hope you enjoy this short demonstration. To gain access for servicing and maintenance of the iBox shower, we first need to identify how the handle is fixed to the splines of the iBox. There are two different ways of fixing. So you investigate the handle and if there is a hole in there, there is a grub screw which you simply loosen and the handle will come off. If there is no hole, then it's on a quick click connector. Now it's always good practice to remove the handle on where you want to put it back on when you finish the service. So in this case, we're going to put it to the safety stop point and it's a fast sharp pull and it comes away. And it's the same for the diverter handle. We'll put it in the off position and it's a fast sharp pull. If you're struggling to get them off, it's always a good idea to wear rubber gloves to help grip the chrome. You simply then edge away the face of the, the face plate off the wall, off its housing, and you can gain access for maintenance. To remove the flow control cartridge, first we need to unscrew the decorative sleeve. Don't forget to turn the water off before we loosen the back nut that holds the cartridge in place. We'll place our spanner on the nut and loosen this section. The whole cartridge comes out in one barrel. If for whatever ever reason you're having to replace the cartridge, you need to unscrew this extension spline off the old one and install it onto the new one by using this Allen key. You'll notice on the back of the cartridge are two pins, locating pins, which marry up to two holes inside the brass body, so it's in its correct orientation. So when installing it back in, make sure the pins are located correctly Place the back nut on and screw in tight. To reinstall the finished set face plate, handles and set the thermostat temperature, first of all we need to screw on the decorative shroud that goes over the flow control. This simply goes over the flow control and screws into position like so. Then we have the safety stop sleeve here. Now be, be in mind on what orientation this goes onto the thermostat housing. So this particular model, the safety stop point is here and the, the button on the handle is on the underside of the handle. So the safety stop point goes at six o'clock, like so. On some models, the safety stop button on the handle is at, on the top. So the safety stop sleeve has to go at 12 o'clock so the button corresponds with this part here so this model is at six o'clock like so then we lightly grease the o-rings here and the inside of this um, sleeve here and we press this on over the sleeves and onto the housing and pressing it against the tiles like so now the flow control handle has got a marking here so we know that this is in the off position. So the marking goes at 12 o'clock. This is on a quick click connector, like so. And then we need to set the temperature um, of the shower. So basically we put the handle on temporarily. We turn on the shower and place a thermometer under the shower and we adjust the thermostat until we get approximately 40 degrees. So for argument's sake, say 40 degrees, the handle's in this orientation. But we know the sleeve underneath has been placed at 6 o'clock where the stop point is to correspond with the button underneath. So all we need to do now is we've set the thermostat spline and the cartridge to 40 degrees. So we we'll remove the thermostat handle, turn it so the button is at 6 o'clock and place it back on the spline of the thermostat. Now the button corresponds with the safety stop sleeve that we put in earlier. So when you go from cold to hot, it stops at the safety stop point, which should be approximately 40 degrees because you've set it. Press the button underneath, then you can go to the full hot zone. 